Stay tuned now for The Ron Wiley Show. Ted Mack Show presents from suburban Chicago the very talented Ron Wiley who will whistle a bit. Like you said. Too much Geritol. <laughs> well, somebody sing, please. <laughs> Seven ten. This Harper's Brown. Anything goes. Chicago, daydream believer and homecoming queen. Do you have any particular hobbies, John, aside from being a Beatle? Hobbies? Well, uh, yeah, I like writing and drawing. I grew up in the 30s and 40s, all during World War II, and so there was always music in our house. And surprisingly enough, uh, by the time I hit the 50s, I loved the 50s era. I loved the rock and roll music. You should have had your knock. I, I had mandatory uh, military. I had to go into the Navy. I was a ham radio operator. I got my ham license. And that was one of the things that excited me about being next to radio. I was next to the electronic side of it, too. And so I, I knew, well, I didn't want to do anything else but go into radio, much to my dad's chagrin. Radio was just kind of emerging into a pop music era. I you know. Here I am again, fan. 89 in Chicago, it's 13 at 7 o'clock. And Ron Wiley, Sunday, 8 o'clock tonight, we'll have some of the top records from England on the British billboards. Beatles, uh, it's hard to be concise about that. I did uh, MC their concert at Sox Park in Chicago myself and two of my constituents. We never heard a word after we stood on the stage. It was just all we could hear is the Beatles in our background and the crowd yelling. When I think about it nowadays, it still makes the hair on my knuckles stand out at it. On the Hollywood Hotline now, let's check with one of the nation's leading disc jockeys, a good friend of mine from WLS in Chicago, Mr. Ron Riley, who'll be joining us on where the action is next Tuesday when we salute Chicago. Ron's nice to have you here on American Bandstand. 